How's it going everybody? And today I'm going to start a new Wednesday series. I'm still going to be doing the ACC stuff, but this one's going to be a little bit more personalized towards you guys. Today I bring you excerpts from a message that Courtney sent me on Facebook. And I will be putting everything she sent me in the description box below for you to read and decide of it what you will. So that way, you know, I'm calling this the Voices of the Shy. She asked me if I'd be willing to put this out there. I'm not putting it all out there, Courtney. I'm putting that in the description box because I don't want to make this a 35 minute video. <laughs> but I will be touching on your four main points at the beginning of your message because it hits me the most, especially staying positive despite, you know, that is the most important thing. And if you'd excuse me for a second. Ah, yes. The me that thinks positively rather than negatively, despite is a much better kind of person that makes sense to me and it speaks to me. If you stay positive, even when your world is in a hell, it, it just, it works. You know, that's the whole key. You have, even, even if the worst case scenarios come up, you still have to stay positive because without hope, because that, that all leads down to hope. Without hope and positivity, you have nothing. Your second point, human history. Everybody's gone through this shit before. We have, and you know what? It's called the Great Depression. It's called stupid presidents. I understand that we have a mini Hitler right now, as everyone has called him. I, you know, I'm not making this political. I'm just stating what she stated. You know, and I, I do semi-agree. He, he presented himself as a mini Hitler in a lot of respects. But at the same time, I understand the other end, so don't make this political. So I do understand that. Humans have gone through this before, and we've risen and we've fallen, and we've risen and we've fallen. You know, I do understand that. Everyone says this is the survival of the fittest. Well, that's a nature thing. You know, this is not a, humans are survival of the fittest. No, that's a natural selection. You know, that's what animals go through. That's, you know, we're not survival of the fittest. We're not the rich against the poor. We're humans. Get over yourselves. We're humans. You know, that's all that matters is we're humans and we should all get along. Point number three. Life has no guarantees and never has. I fully agree with this because <laughs> this is more recent to me. Life has no guarantees. I was fully expectant on going to VidCon. No guarantees that I was going to be able to make it. No guarantees that I was going to be able to have a place to stay. So I had to cancel my ticket. You know? Which, granted, that helped me out because I'm a poor SOB and doing YouTube, so I'm doing what I can, you know. But, you know, it's all about no guarantees. You can't expect what you hope for tomorrow to be there. You know, you have to take it. You have to grab it, which does, you know slightly inclined to the survival of the fittest. You know, it really does. Everything circles in on itself. Because if you don't just grab it and take it while you can, there's no guarantee it's going to be there tomorrow. And the last one. The earth is dying. Let me see if that's correct here. Where did it go? Oh yeah, all the earth, all life on Earth has to end at some time. Let's look at the dinosaurs. 
Meteor Strike ended them. The Ice Age ended a whole bunch of awesome creatures. You know, there are thousands of things that become extinct every day, which sucks because humanity has a lot to play with it. Play in with it. So, I mean, it's just... It's disgusting to me that how many people don't realize that... Oh, there's another seven species of insect, which sounds stupid. Oh, look, there's 30 seconds. There's another seven species. Another 30 seconds, another seven species. I understand that my time and my numbers aren't right, but you get the concept of it. There's so much things that die on this planet daily that we just don't care. And we're not going to care until, oh, look, the human species. There's another 7,000. There's another 7,000. There's another 7,000. We're not going to care until it comes to that. So, as I said, I'm going to be putting her entire message down below in the description box. Please head down there and read it. Comment on how you feel about it, good or bad. I agree with almost everything she says. Everyone's inclined to their own opinion. But I do agree with it, Courtney. You are a very intelligent person. You're an amazing person from what I read. Keep it up. If you want to keep sending me stuff to put up, then so be it, I will. But there you go. This has been a Voices of the Shy or Silent. I haven't decided which one yet. You'll find out at the title. So... Just remember, guys, if you want to send me anything for me to put up, get on Facebook, Brains Rants, send me a message, and I'll put something up for you. I don't care what it is. I don't care if people hate me for it. But if you want me to put it up, I will put it up as long as it's not too long. If it's too long, I'll paraphrase it as I did today. But there's that. And remember, guys, just because you're broken doesn't mean you're not beautiful. Peace.